Hello, it's Nikki from Southern Fleet Bath. Tonight I am going to make an apple soap and I'm also going to make a mulberry soap. Um, and I made these cute little embeds, these mulberry embeds that go on top. And so I searched and searched for a mulberry mold and what they were calling mulberry mold, it was like a blackberry or a raspberry mold. Like mulberries are long like this and I know this because I had one in my backyard growing up and I would eat them until I was sick so what I actually did was I made them and then I melted two together I don't know if you can see to make a longer one anyways in my mulberry soap well in both soaps actually um, I am using mulberry silk from Muddy Soap Co. I've never used it before. I melted it in my lye water. Um, melted really easy. So we're gonna see how that turns out. So I'm going to actually sift my lye water because it it um, looks like it might have something floating there. I'm going to get this out of the way. Okay. And I'm not going to blend that up a whole lot. Uh, I can tell that it's emulsifying and I am just gonna start blending it up with my hand spatula because I don't want this to set up too quickly on me. I got several different colors and two different fragrances and two different batches of soap and so I just want to mix it up enough to where it's all mixed together good and I can pour it off. So. Oh, I'm actually doing three. I'm doing a mini loaf too. I forgot. Um, in the scent of um, Daisies in Bloom by Nurture Soap. And I got this cute little mold and I have, I don't know if you can tell, but I've kind of painted the design of the daisies um, with some mica and a paintbrush. And so this mold, I have actually weighed it by pouring water off it, you know, and then seeing how much is in there. And it was like 17 and some odd ounces of soap, so I'm going to measure off um, my soap. That's going to go in this mold. Okay, so if y'all have never soaked with the Daisy from Nurture Soap, it did rice on me, but I was able to mix it back in and get rid of that rice in. Okay, 
so now it's nice and now it's nice again. <laughs> so that's good. And it seems to, let's see, look. As it sets, it thickens and you can mix it. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this in my mold. And I want to do it slowly because I don't want to move around that um, design that I've painted, right? So. And you might be able to tell that I did, I'm hoping, up in that fence post, like so, so it looks like the fence. And I'm hoping that it looks like it's thick enough it's going to stay. Mix up the screen. And the yellow, that's not hardly yellow. I think we'll have to add some more yellow. means I'm probably going to have to mix up some more color because that yellow was supposed to be for my apple foam. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Can't always expect things to go as planned. I definitely do not. It still don't look very yellow to me. Alright. We'll see. I don't know. We'll just have to see how that goes. And I apparently may have been way off when it comes to how much soap was going to go in this mold. I don't know. You know, I had an idea what I wanted to do with this soap. <laughs> and y'all, I did not even do it. <laughs> Like I just had, I was going to do the, the, um, the soap kiss. I wanted to do that. And I'm going to do that with one of the other ones. I hope I don't forget. I wanted to do it with this one, but I just straight forgot. <laughs> world okay. now I'm gonna put the rest of my green because this soap the top is the bottom and so it's gonna be the grass well, I guess it's all grass <laughs> and flowers. I'm so messy. Y'all, I hate being messy. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
back or I'll, um, we're just going to get rid of the rest of this soap because it's not enough to really do anything and I just <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody <laughs> Oh man, if soap dishes was that easy, <laughs> that would be my dream come true. Alright, oh no. This is thicker than I would like it to be. Okay, so we're just going to mix everything by hand. We're going to try to just mix everything by hand. Alright, first thing first. I'm going to... I didn't make much of this one because this is kind of like an accent for the oh that's so pretty such a good that's what I wanted that red I was so afraid it was going to be pink let me tell y'all how I got that red it is candy apple red from Nurture Soap and then also brick dust from Nurture Soap mixed together. And that made the most beautiful red. And that will match the little apples that I'm going to put on top of this soap. And so, here we go. I'm so excited. I finally took the plunge and am buying like one of those mini dishwashers for your soap. And uh, so that'll help me a lot because I think, I honestly think one of the reasons I don't make soap like a whole, whole lot is because I hate soap dishes. <laughs> if we're going to be just completely honest. <laughs> And so, on top of that, I just got my first slab mold, and my husband made me the wooden outside um, box. He's making me a slab cutter. He's amazing like that. Woo! All right, this color's scaring me. It's Jam Session by Nurture Soap. Maybe I just need to add more. We'll just add more. <laughs> I may have used it before. I don't know, y'all. It's been a rough month for me. I've lost my... My grandmother died, and then three weeks later, my dad died. and I was just trying to keep it together. Make soap and...
And I'm gonna leave that white uh, fragrance free. So I put extra in these. I know it looked like I put a lot, but. So I probably put about three and a half ounces in these, so I guess that is a lot, but. I want it to smell really, really good. I love this fragrance. And uh, you know, sometimes when you make a really nice soap, it cures for a long time and then you can't smell it anymore. So I don't want that. Just do that in the mold, y'all. That's looking beautiful. Oh yes, this is going to look so pretty. Be very happy with that as long as it's in purple, it's like look purple when it's done, like when it's said and done, it's going to be beautiful. I got this is what I'm going to pipe with. I'm going to use this to pipe, I might use some of this to pipe. Um, so I definitely need to put some in a mold, so I'm gonna go get one of those. All right, y'all. Sorry, I had some technical difficulties, so I didn't get to um, record the putting on the embeds of the soap, but I did get them on there. I don't know how good you can see it. I feel like the lighting is not good. Got a little bit of uh, glitter on there, and I love it. And here is my apple soap. This is actually going to, uh, this apple soap is going to the lady who uh, has a shop in Japan and she buys stuff from me and she wanted an apple soap. So, alright. So, here are my two soaps. And I'm sorry that I didn't get to um, film putting on the embeds and, and piping that soap, but I figured I'd jump on real quick and uh, show you the finished product and we'll be back um, probably 24 hours so you can see the cut. Hello, we're back and it's been about 40 hours. Um, 
I did come yesterday and try to see about unmolding it and it still felt a little soft so I waited another day and it's oh, about 11 o'clock in the morning so it's not quite 48 hours um, I'm really excited yeah. all right so first we're gonna unmold this daisy soap I, this mold I've never used it before I did if you remember I put the I tried to put the white in the sides to make it look like a white picket fence around the side and I painted the front the top of it um, so let's just let's just unmold it If any of you soap makers have a suggestion for the next time that I do this, how to unmold it, please comment below because I think I'm getting it, but it's freaking me out. Okay. Oh, all right. We got it. Woo. That's a little red bit on that one. For the most part. For the most part, it did unmold fairly well. I probably should have. I probably should have waited another day to unmold this, but I was so. Um, I just couldn't wait. So it is beautiful. For the most part, I'm very happy with it. I did get the white picket fence, but I messed it up a little bit. Like I said, if you know a better way to do this, please comment below, help assist out. Because I feel like it could have been better. It does smell so beautiful. We are gonna go ahead and cut this soap. Because after all that, I'm too excited just to not do it, right? Okay. And so, the end pieces I'll probably use myself. I'm just going to do it over here because it's not going to cut any off. I don't think it's going to cut any off. Anyway. I'm going to do just a tiny bit. literally cut the fence post. You cut the fence post off of one side. <laughs> Might be able to use those for something sometime. I don't know. Okay. And so the pretty little design. Daisies on top. I feel like this this totally could have worked out better um, if I had waited a little bit longer to cut it. I knew, and I knew better. I knew I should have just left it in the mold and waited a little while, but I could not help it. And so I knew this one too wasn't going to have like a super awesome design inside because it kind of plopped off in there. But it's not bad to make them. I'm happy with it. I mean, I wanted it to have, you know, the daisies on top, which it does. And then, like, they'll kind of... Yeah, so. Not a fail. Not a win. It's the first time I ever used this mold, so it's a learning mold. It's a learning curve, so. I do think next time I do it, I might put some sodium lactate in the batter so that it can harden up faster. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. It is still just a little soft. But I think it's doable. 
so I don't think it's gonna mess it up. I don't think the other one would have messed up quite so bad if it hadn't been all those little fence posts and stuff. Okay, it's a little soft though. I wouldn't say uncomfortably soft, but it's pushing it. Okay, and it's looking very appley. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this one on its side so that the apples don't get messed up. Kind of cool looking. Apples got cut just a little. I'm gonna say it did muddle a little, but honestly, it's kind of. I mean, apples are kind of like that, or they, or they just kind of change from one color to the next. I maybe should have cut this with my other cutter. I'm probably going to use my other cutter for the mulberry one. Um, just because it's one embed for each on that one. It's okay that these didn't get exactly like that. Because honestly, it kind of looks cool for them both to have. To have some with like both sets of lines on it. It's got kind of a cool swirl. Okay. I'm going to set this up here. Okay. See if you know what, y'all. <laughs> Almost feel like I could totally make this work. <laughs> I don't think any berries will get cut off if I use this. So Y'all don't think I'm going to do it. Yep. I'm going to do it. 
hopefully no berries get cut <laughs> hopefully no berries get cut off all right this is where you hold your breath berries got cut off and oh wow I think I'm really gonna love this one not the end piece mm, yes I'm loving it so far And so even if this discolors, um, the white doesn't have any fragrance in it. So it'll stay white. pretty cool. I like it when it's got the, that circle-y kind of look and the design. I say I'm not going to bevel these yet because they're a little soft, but I will bevel them and then stamp them with my brand name Ooh, yes. And I'm wondering, so these have got the mulberry silk in them too. And that might be, I have, I've never used mulberry silk before. So that might be one of the reasons why they're, um, kind of soft. I don't know. After a couple, I mean, after, usually I cut soap before this and it's harder. So that, and you can tell like they look shiny. They look kind of shiny. Even though they're, um not wet like you know they're not really wet so maybe that has to do with the mulberry silk and so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten more okay and um yeah i'm kind of wondering because you can tell i don't know if you can tell but and this soap, um, it's kind of shiny. I don't know if you can tell that. And it might be from the mulberry silk. I don't, I have no idea. There again, it, if you know if mulberry silk makes things kind of softer at first and shiny, let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for this soap. Um, like I said, I'm going to bevel them and stamp them, but that won't be today. They're too soft for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you see, please 
subscribe as my son was saying hit that little bell <laughs> he's so cute um Anyways, I'm trying to uh, get a thousand subscribers, not only so that I can be my son's hero. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I will do a video on my whip soap recipe that I came up with from scratch, and it's amazing. I will do a video on that and give the recipe for free when I get a thousand subscribers. So, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>